Hi guys, this is Kelly and today I'm gonna do a Glossier Cloud Paint try on for you guys. I bought several colors from Glossier and I want to try it out for you guys on my face so you guys can see it live swatches on my cheeks. So let's hop right into the video. So I have here four colors. Um, the first one that I bought was Beam. This one I've already used it in my previous video. I'll just link it here. It was a summer glow. So another one is in Dusk. And then I also bought the color in Storm. This is a plummy color. And then I have this ultra orangey one in Dawn. So I'm just gonna show you guys the colors. I'm gonna swatch it on my hand first and then on my cheeks. So I'm going in with Dusk. How I usually use it is that I'll use it as a bronzer or sometimes whenever I have like a more neutral makeup I'll use it as my blush but I'll just focus it on this part of my face and I got too much out so it's a little bit wasteful I wish they could do something about the squeezy tube okay so this is dusk it's a very nice muted neutral color. I feel that this blush can be used on any skin color. It's so pretty. I'm going to put a little bit more here so you guys can see the true color of this. I see your true colors. Na, na, na. I like it that you can just like easily pat it on your skin and it gives us a very natural and nice flush of colors on your cheeks. This dusk. So the leftovers can be as eyeshadow as well, but I'm not gonna do it today. And then um, next one I'm gonna go in with BIM. So the next one will be BIM. BIM it's a corally color, it's a little bit brighter com as compared to this. Uh, I feel like I'm always wasting it because uh, the amount that is coming out it's really too much. So this one is in BIM, the bright coral colour. Okay, so as you guys can see, BIM is something that is a little bit brighter and it has a corally finish. So this is the comparison of Dusk and BIM. brownish neutral color and then this one it's a bright coral color dusk or bim so moving on to the next two blushes this one it's storm and this one it's a nice plummy finish Sometimes when I'm feeling adventurous, I'll use this plummy blusher. I love this berry tone though. Especially in the winter. Oh my god, it's so pretty. It looks like you're blushing from within. Ooh, it's actually pretty natural if you just blend it out nicely. You don't have to be afraid of bold colours. I mean, a lot of people are afraid of this kind of like strong pigmented colors. Plummy blushes are to die for as well, especially for like the fall time, winter time. It's perfect. It's not too much, not too vibrant. It gives off a mellow vibe. And usually if I use this, I'll just apply it on my lips as well, just a little. So we have the same vibe. I love to match my lip and my blush colour so my whole look will be a little bit more cohesive These are multi-purpose so amazing, love it So the last one that I'll be sharing is this true orange colour This one is in Dawn Orange Ooh, Very orangey I like to use this as my eyeshadow as well. It's so vibrant. The colour is so saturated. 
if I'm a little bit more tan, this blush will look so good on my skin. It looks like a very natural sunburn, sun-kissed skin. It's a very nice orangey flush. These two colors can be a little bit over the top if you guys see it like that. It's very, very, very pigmented. But if you blend it out nicely, it can give off some kind of a vibe, a makeup look if you guys are interested. So this is how it looks. This one it's Dawn, a true orange colour. It's very vibrant, very joyful and it's very energetic as well. In this one it's a little bit more mellow. This is a very light colour. This is in Storm. So really depending on what you guys are looking for. And I feel that every season suits every cloud paint. But this is my take on the glossy cloud paint. And if you guys like this kind of video, remember to give me a like and also subscribe down below. And if you guys have any video ideas, please comment down below.